Okay. Hey, y'all. Can y'all see me? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. perfect, perfect. <laughs> I wanted to fit the vibe. Yeah. Of... <laughs> yeah. yeah you, it looks you got good. It. You definitely got it. <laughs> cool. How are so, y'all doing? We're good. So good. I'm JT. This is Mimi. Megan. Megan? Okay, cool. Do you go by something different or? No, that, I just go by Megan. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Cool. So, um, so like I said, it shouldn't be too long. We just have like a few questions uh, kind of surrounding the topic of young marriage, specifically uh, for minorities and like the stuff mm -hmm. that we see in Black Twitter, Shave Room, yeah. that culture. You know yeah. the deal. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we can get started if you want to okay. kind of give like a brief introduction of who you are. Yes. Okay. So my name is Megan Lewis and I am entering the life coach journey started about a year ago. And I love focusing on relationships and kind of what stops us from having like a thriving marriage. And so like I'm on that journey to pinpoint exactly what's stopping us from having a thriving marriage and helping couples identify it getting rid of it so they can have a real fighting chance for the marriage so yeah right that's me do you have like a focus group that you want to focus on or are you just going to be like so for me i am leaning towards like millennial entrepreneurs okay. i just like i feel like a vibe with them that's <laughs> me personally right, right, that's right, who right. i want to go after right. um black love that right. kind of like <laughs> that kind of thing but yeah i'm open to if the number one requirement like for the people who i would like to work out work with and help would be people who number one are down for the bible being the foundation of how marriage should operate right. and then number two is are you able to take responsibility for your mess right instead that's of good. just blaming I mean, yeah. your that's, partner if you can't do that we can't work together. Right. Oh, yeah, so yeah. yeah. And I think it's important that you set the foundation for the, you know, the Bible, because we don't have a foundation to work from. It's going to be like really hard yeah. to yeah. fix anything without a foundation. You can't yeah. build no without a foundation. So people have so many different definitions of marriage, what it means. Right. Like, so it's good to just have a foundation, a definition and how we're supposed to operate and like get down to the true context of what, how God like defines marriage, because right. it's, it's a lot of flying parts mm -hmm. from the different <laughs> cultures and experiences. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, let's, let's start there because I think that's okay. the main issue that we see on Twitter mm -hmm. and the shade room. They say that marriage has changed from what it used to be like when our parents were married mm -hmm. So what it is now, like back then you had to get married to survive. It was more of a yes, yes, business yes, yes, transaction. Yes. And now everybody's working. Right. Um, women are working, men are working. It's not mm -hmm. the same necessity to exactly. be Very married. True. Yeah. So let's start there. How do you feel about that whole concept? So how do I feel about just how millennials are operating yeah. in marriage versus our parents. Yeah. I completely agree that like marriage was like a business transaction and it was for like centuries. Right. Like <laughs> everybody, like I love, this is like a tangent, but I love like um, English monarchy mm -hmm. and how like, you know, back in the day, they literally knew that like, you know, you didn't have to love your spouse. Mm -hmm. Like we got married because you yeah. have these connections to the yep. king or to the queen and yep. it's kind of been that vibe for a minute right. like i got married because you know i needed someone to take care of me like mm -hmm. from the woman's side um he provided a life or even a lifestyle like you know right. depending on that but now this is where i think the millennials like peeped a little bit of the game <laughs> they saw that okay yeah y'all my mom and dad are married and they're not happy and so That's from big. a kid's yeah. from a kid's mind it's like you will ask the question naturally mom or dad why did you get married like mm -hmm. if you're if i see you're so unhappy why you did you do it why did you do it right or why are you even staying yeah. i mean people ask that question too yeah. and so um they're like 
they'll say whatever because there's a whole bunch of reasons. Maybe right. I got I stayed because of this and this and that. And then so now you're being imprinted as a child. Well, shoot, if marriage is like this, then I don't want it. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Right. Or, or children say, well, when I get married, I'm not doing it that way. Right. I'm not going to do it that way, you know? Yeah. So I think that's where the difference is. We've gotcha. made a conscious choice as a generation to have different reasons as to why we're getting married and why we're staying married, you know? Yeah. I right. think right. that's kind of like where where the shift happened, the transition happened. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. Do you feel like it's more... It, do you feel like is it as big as it seems or is it just we see it so much because I, I know like we're, we're we've been married for since mm-hmm. yeah, 2018 so i was 23 22 23 mm-hmm. she was a year older than me um we mm-hmm. we have friends who've been married since 16 <laughs> so we know people who are young and married <laughs> but it seems like i don't see that yeah you don't see it okay so like, you mean so you're like a, when i'm on social media i, I see the negative oh, relationships I, I see the abuse i see the cheating i see the yeah. um the, the women having to propose to the men i see the yeah. Yeah. the the people just having kids and you know kind of living. living together <laughs> and all the, you know yeah. so mm-hmm. i don't know i don't see it as much as i like see they don't promote it they either. don't promote it yeah. yeah that's why we actually started our platform we were like, we mm. have to be a voice that you can make it work. Yeah. You can be fine. I like, think it's good. Yeah. So that y'all took that uh that like stance, like y'all, this is doable. Right. Let me show you a better <laughs> like that. That's like commendable. But yeah, like for me, um, I do see it. But the I, what I do is that I put it intentionally in front of me. Right. Mm. So that means that like what's on my Instagram feed. I make sure I surround myself that way. I have a lot of, like, they're, we all got married. My friends, like, got married the same year. That's um, it, cool. it was 2017. It was, like, in the fall. Uh, we were in the summer, but it was, like, wedding, month, wedding, another month, wedding. Right. It was <laughs> like that. And we all were just a part of the bridesmaids and hostess. But right. my point is, is that, like, you have to make sure that you are putting it in front of you. Like if you go to a church, like, you know, is there um, a ministry for young married couples? And for, and like, if there's not, y'all seem to have the uh, get up and go about you to maybe even create one, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) And then, uh, so yeah, that would be my, um, but I do know like if you, there is a lot of, Handling relationships, I think the way that God would doesn't want it to be handled. There's right. a lot of it. It's it's. Yeah. I would agree with you. It's saturated. Um, right. In my opinion, I think it's saturated because there's just a whole bunch of trauma, just like yes. cycling yes. itself. Yeah. Cycling yeah. trauma. Yeah. Just a whole bunch. In mm. as long as even if you're married, um, if you don't handle it, you just putting that into your little babies. Yep. Mm. And they gonna continue. You know what I'm saying? So I think um, that's why it's so saturated in the first place. Okay. Nobody handling their business in (laughs) here, in their heart. That's all right. Yeah. All right. I um, wanted to, like, touch on what you said, what you asked. So I've been seeing people um, complaining, I guess, saying, like, why does, why doesn't the, our, why doesn't our marriages, like millennials, whatever, marriages stay happy like quote unquote or stay mm-hmm. like lo- have longevity as our parents did but mm-hmm. these are the same people that's saying that oh my parents got married for money like <laughs> like <laughs> so I'm like why are you asking that question because <laughs> you <know> yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean like I don't get like true. it's like a lot of people contradict themselves they um, do when talking about that. marriage like yeah, it's, it's like, like mm-hmm. I've never seen such a <laughs> It's like a, almost a battle against being married, and yeah, like, especially with a foundation that's rooted in you know the Bible. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like almost a fight against it, and I don't know why because yeah. it seems like if you look at successful couples, especially mm-hmm. black couples, most of the time they mm-hmm. have great families. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Like we can trace, we can look at their families, how they operate with their kids. Yeah, it's very true. We can, it all makes sense. So I don't get why people are so against it. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Um, Even people told I, us like, yeah, don't get true. married. Like, don't get married. You're too too young. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> You're like, oh, okay, yeah. man. <laughs> Yeah, it's just. <laughs> yeah. I think people, I think people have the best intentions. Um, right. They want you to succeed, but sometimes the delivery and how I interpret it is like their lenses are like clouded. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like they might have some like just a lot of specks, a lot of grease, a lot of dust yeah. on their <laughs> their vision on, right. and so they're like when you put the marriage lens on for them, they're like, you want to get married? Yeah. It's hard. It's this is that. Yeah. I think the only reason why it's hard is like, for example, did you have good communication skills? <laughs> Could you get right. past your, um, did you know or have the tools to like um, solve a problem without letting your anger or your sadness like just run rampant? Like, yeah. Those right. are the things that you need to ask rather than don't get like rather than saying don't get married. Let me use this example. We have someone who drives a car, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And they don't know how to drive a car. <laughs> they were running through the lights. They've right. hit three people before. Mm-hmm. They maybe they even creep in on the highway at 35 miles. Right. <laughs> and so they say they got um multiple tickets and I'm like I'm done with driving I'm done mm-hmm. like people do marriage the same thing and but the logical question would be like well did you know how to drive yeah right, my yeah. question <laughs> is do you know how to be married yeah right a lot of people don't know how to be married and so they're just marriage is just like oh yeah. you know think what I'm they saying look at it as a skill like, I feel <laughs> like they just I'm giving a clap because yeah. it's a skill you have to learn. It's a skill. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, it's not natural. Like, we're not wired to just know what to do going on. How to be married. Yeah. Like, that's oh, how yeah. I feel. And like, how to deal with another person being in your space 24 mm-hmm. 7. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like, I we, have agree. The, we have the desire to be with somebody and to yeah. love, but that doesn't we give do. us the tools we need to do it the Absolutely. right way. <laughs> So. Even when you come from a beautiful family that's mm-hmm. taught you a lot of things, you are still getting in a house with someone that's different from you. And mm-hmm. that's like a big part of the battle. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because with your family, y'all have these set rules. Y'all yeah. have this way about y'all that y'all handle things, even if it's healthy. But you still get with someone else and you have to make your own rules. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. That's true. That makes sense. So I know that you're like getting into the whole coaching thing, but if you had to give, I would say like some advice to people who are considering marriage, who just got married recently, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. what is some advice for those people? Like who just got married? Just got or married. Like thinking, getting, thinking about getting married, getting that married. whole that limbo okay. stage, and then the people who are married, I guess, would be the yeah, best. Yeah. Okay. So like it's the same for all three categories, okay. but um, I say that people who are still technically single, even if you are engaged and um, you have an advantage because the answer to all of them would be, you need to identify that stuff that's in you that is like not conducive to a relationship. How are your trust? Do you have trust issues? Do you have anger management problems? Do you have a problem with money? Ooh, that's a big one. Like, what are those things that, like, are really not conducive, that are not healthy for you? If it's not healthy for you by yourself, it's not healthy for a relationship. (laughs) You need to identify that. Even your first year of marriage, a lot of people say, it's going to be the best year of marriage. (laughs) Oh, it's like riding the, a bicycle. That was the it's word. It's like riding like, a bike. I want to write a book about just the first year. Write it. Like, write like, it. Worst. That was it was like, looking back at it now, it looks so silly, but. Yeah, it <laughs> is silly, but yeah, in the moment. Yeah, in the moment. Yeah. Man, like, so unnecessary. Like. I'm talking about the, the, the unnecessary arguments. The, for sure. 
the living, just learning to live with somebody. Yeah. It's uh, childish. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like you have yeah. to literally be yeah. taught again. You feel like a kid. Like, yeah. yeah. I would agree with both of y'all for sure. Yes, right. like you, ha- it's like riding a bike. Yeah. Is r- learning how to ride a bike pretty? Nope. No, you fall. You fall. Like yeah. you get, <laughs> your knees get a little nicked up and stuff. Right. What would be, um, edifying and expedient was will be that your partner can see that you are trying to learn okay. and you guys support each other in that first year of marriage rather than you're different than me well you're different than me right that's not gonna help anybody but a lot of times we do that i did that my husband did that like so we just for those that are listening <laughs> your first year of marriage yeah support each other in understanding how to live with one another and, and I then think people that's who've been, important that's important yeah, yeah it is like people who've been also been married for like a couple years i've been married it'll be three years in like a month okay. um i think you guys should like just because some stuff has happened like if you're right. married for a while there have been some incidences some moments that you can remember that were painful Y'all gonna have to have to, to ha- y'all gonna have to have a coming to Jesus moment and forgive. Yeah. And set a plan. Well, the plan didn't work. You need to set another plan. Set another plan. You said right. for life. <laughs> yeah. You need to say a, life, set another yeah. plan that works better. <laughs> simple yeah. as that. Is that <laughs> yeah. it's really that simple? Like it's it, it, it's so simple, it's simple but, but we make we it hard. We make it hard. <laughs> we make it hard. We make I it agree. Hard. I don't know. Do do you have kids? I have a little one, yes. Okay. I have um he is a uh, two. Cool. He's two. So he um that. my husband's name is Vernon the third and my little one is Vernon the fourth. <laughs> so cool. I said I love the generations uh, I love Yeah, they were serious about that. Like I have a whole <laughs> list of names and they're like, No, he's no, yeah. I was like, Okay. Right. I get the rest of the names yeah, next right. time. Like yeah. y'all done. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> yeah. So do you think but yeah, I have kids. having a kid early on in a in a young marriage affected anything or because that's another yeah that's another question we get a lot. People are like, we want to get mm. married, but no kids to yeah. where well into mm. our, you know, our careers, yeah. we got houses built up and mansions. I'm like sometimes eh. you can't life. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like Yeah. <laughs> can't plan that i mean you do your best yeah. but it's like i don't know i i try to tell people like you can make you can make it work yeah that's my message for everybody you can, you can. there's nothing that can stop you know a marriage you just have to adjust you have to adapt yes um, you do because like we we've seen a lot of people even during this pandemic the things that they had their hopes in they lost whether it was a mm-hmm. career whether it's mm-hmm. money, you know, houses, cars, yeah. family yeah. members that they leaned on. That is true. So you have to be well w- between, your, you know, your spouse. Like, you guys have yeah. to be we committed also, to. Yeah, we also know a lot of, like, a few people who were, like, actually realizing what kind of, like, who their spouse was. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, my spouse talks too much. Like, I can't. I'm mad. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> like, they have been married for a long yeah. time. I'm like. Right. You, just you didn't know this. this? <laughs> right. You didn't know this? No, yeah. Like what? <laughs> we be so distracted in our own world, in our own stuff. That means your job. That means the stuff that swim and consume your head that you don't tell anybody. Yeah. Like that means just like I don't know, keeping the house clean, making sure the kids are fed, making sure oh, like yeah. they had a good yeah. time. Like you be so distracted, and then you get an opportunity to just sit your tail down <laughs> right. and be with your spouse. Yeah, you will definitely notice some things because I'll say one thing that I, Will and Jada Smith, she they didn't marry for how long? Do y'all know? I don't even know, but I a loving, minute, like yeah, I'm loving a long this. Time, yeah. I love them right now. Yeah, like the yes. She right said now. that I'm. I just realized that I don't know Will, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Like exactly, that can be something for growth, for you know, for you to evolve, like to to learn your spouse. A lot of times, people they contradict themselves. 
they want to know their spouse like the whole thing of them mm. okay when you do that and you know your spouse the whole thing it's boring you know everything right okay like yeah. we need to evolve every right, day we, we need to evolve, to evolve every right. year yeah like that is the fun exciting part but it it takes more effort so i think that's why people stem away from it gotcha. it takes effort for you to be clear mm-hmm. it takes effort for you to grow it takes effort for you to be patient while they grow right. so yeah yeah yeah, so basically people don't want to put in the work. Yeah, it's right. all about the it's work. Like, yeah. right? it's, mm-hmm. I think the most important thing that I've taken from this today is the whole thing about coming together and even though we've only been married a short amount of time compared to most, mm-hmm. finding those things that happen and let's, you know, apologize, let's forgive and let's plan yeah. for it. Because mm-hmm. I never thought about it like that. Like yeah. that you, we stuff has happened that we need to talk about like we're good we love each other yeah. we, we know we're not it's like we forgive like okay. but yeah, we need to talk like about it. it we need to <laughs> certain gotta things talk happen about it. here one yeah. that might still be there yeah you better tell the truth okay <laughs> right so we need to have a conversation i i like that concept like yeah that was yeah good. that's good so it is what, good, yeah. what's what's next for you and then how are, are you like open for people to reach out to you or like okay. how so my whole plan is that I want to create a course that is going to, so I have like five categories or five, it'll be five modules of things that I feel like people need to handle in relationships. So it would be, what is a productive marriage in the first place? The definition. Then we're going to talk about marital combat, which is how to fight, how to solve problems. Then we'll talk about needs because people have needs in relationships and a lot of times they get ignored. And then baggage, which is going to be my favorite, because it talks about the trauma that people have endured as children and how that is directly connected to how you show up in your marriage. Yes. And then the fifth thing would be the power that you hold. A lot of times that people, they give up all their power to their spouse. And this is what they do. The marriage sucks. You need to fix it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And then they just wait Wait, and they feel hopeless. They feel powerless. They, they, cause you just gave all your power to your spouse rather than you taking it. And you need to identify and evaluate where you messed up in the marriage. If you do that, you're going to stay busy. You're Mm going to stay enlightened and you're going to know how to show up in your marriage. So that's like, basically I'm trying to create that course right now. and put it on the internet and sell it but um (laughs) pre-rona i was having like these experimental marriage encouragement sessions here in houston Mm -hmm. um when that's over i'm gonna do another experiment session because i need to know how this content responds with people where the holes and gaps are once i get those filled up the con the course is going to be created and it's going to be out out there to sell to people to encourage people help people so that's like my plan that's what i got in the works right now that's cool i think i think it's a a great great plan plan because thank y'all thank you i really appreciate that short conversation (laughs) i'm like whoa like yeah we we got to sign up for whatever course you got oh thank y'all you you have the the tools or the you got what we don't got as far as like the know-how <laughs> of <laughs> even making a good marriage yeah. better. So I'm excited for we, the course. I'm still learning, y'all. Like, don't <laughs> – we still learning over here. Yeah. But, yeah, um, honestly, though, to, to respond to what you said, a lot of times people, like, say I don't have the tools and then they just sit there. But, y'all, go on YouTube. Go get you a book. Like, oh, I don't have it. I wish I had it. But relationship goals, like by Michael Todd, like read oh, those yeah, kind yeah, of books. Dropped, read, yeah, yeah. like yeah, like like that's just an example. There's so many like resources out there for you to learn. Like my husband, he's a police officer, and I think about this example all the time. Like within myself, I haven't said this to him, but I think, did you know how to be a police officer when you came out the womb? No, no. Yeah. you had to go and do training. Training. And not just one type of training. 
physical training. You had to learn about the laws. You had to learn how to handle situations. You had to learn how to fight. Like you had to go get training. Same thing in marriage. You need to go out there and get some training. So one way would be to talk to wise counsel, the <laughs> older wise counsel. The older, yeah. Just wise because you're 40, just because you're 65, just because you've been married 32 years don't mean that you got the wisest advice. And I say that with love. Right. So make sure that you go and you get some wise counsel from the older generation. Even the people that messed up, ask them what they did wrong. Yeah. Ask them yeah, what they it. did that's wrong. That's so important, man. That's very what? important. Yeah. That's important. You go get those books, you go read, go, go on YouTube. There's so many YouTube videos on how to help people. But yeah, so that's just a way to start getting the tools for marriage. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Cool. Well, okay. we appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate the time talking to y'all. It was a good I know this is your, are we still your first podcast? It's my first, y'all. Oh, hey. That's so great. That's crazy, man. Like, But it's crazy how it all works because like, yeah, we... We're like, I think I saw you on somebody else's stuff. I'm like, I have um, to talk the to Christian her. Africa. It's like so many like yeah. black Christian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we they gotta awesome. talk to her because she I don't know who this girl is, yeah. but she Thank is you. the one. Yeah. So we appreciate it yes. taking time out for us. And Thank um you so much. like I said, no, I enjoyed it. Um I'll kind of put some edits on it, make it look cool, and then okay. I'll send it to you <laughs> and then it'll probably be out on Wednesday next week so yeah no problem like I just enjoy the fact that I can even talk to people about marriage because right. like um when when the virus happened I was like dang like I was ready but like I am encouraged that people are being creative in this time right. and we are making things work right and it's like so I just appreciate the conversation really yeah, I think crisis really breeds creativity man like yeah mm-hmm. it's gonna it show does. the the real creatives like because I know people fell off completely during yeah. this time oh for sure dang yeah so but then I see people <laughs> I see the I see the people who are like blossoming like, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, that is so true but we got a lot of work to do so yeah. you keep going we're gonna keep going yes we'll see yes, you at the we top. all gonna keep sure going gonna meet. yeah, yeah. Yes, so, I was hey, about to meet you, y'all one day. Once you vet, we were right here in Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. So Okay, I'm in Houston. So like where Laf- in Louisiana? Lafayette. Okay, I've never been to Louisiana, but like me and my husband, when we take a vacation, right. I want like y'all, y'all wanna yeah. go get some food? Okay, right. we can do that. <laughs> I mean and you we so her cousin is a gospel artist. Yeah. She's always okay. in Houston. Houston yeah, all the time. So Okay. You never know. And I know you got the vocals too. I saw that uh <laughs> PJ Moore. I said, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. And you play the piano? I do, yeah. Y'all better work. Y'all better have multiple things, okay? Do you, do you know you listen to gospel? Yeah. All right, so you know a song won't you do it? Yes. All right, that's so that's, that's her, my cousin. That's her cousin. Corin. Oh Corin Hawthorne. Snap. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> It's like a whole, it's like a whole little thing. That's so that's, that's why I'm awesome. saying we said Houston. I'm like, I've been to Houston at yeah, least we four times. Yeah, we were living times. in Houston the whole day for New Year's Eve. Yeah, the, for a con- oh, wow. concert. Like churches but, out yeah. in Texas love us, so we yeah. always okay. We always there. So I love how like just the world is so connected. Like you yeah, just never you know. know. You that's know. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. But yeah. Cool. I- I appreciate it. I liked listening to y'all podcast. I listened to two. So I'm going to continue. Cool. I subscribe and I'll keep listening to y'all cool. and interacting awesome. with y'all posts and everything. Sounds great. We'll do yeah. the same. Uh, we're trying to, like, always get better each time. So Yeah. Yeah. So well, cool. I enjoyed this conversation. Y'all did wonderful. Thanks. You're the best. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> great knowledge. <Cool>. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Bye, Megan. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.